Um, so you've met my brother Liam. Hi. Courtney, you never told me your brother was so funny. What are you two smiling at? <laughs> oh no. You're not going out with Stacy, are you? Stacy? I said that nice girl that you had here the other day. Do you like McDonald's? I love it. I booked the hall for next Thursday to hold a neighbourhood watch meeting. Of course, yeah. I'll it'll, definitely it'll come. There. I think there's a need. Definitely. Great. Sure. But lots of people don't then get in a car and run over an 11 year old, do they? A girl with a whole life ahead of it. Of course they don't. That was you. Thank you so much for coming. Pleasure. Pleasure. Marie Chapman. And I'm Sarah. Sarah? You know who the PC is? Marie Chapman. What, Sean's mum? And they told me the wedding had been cancelled three weeks ago. Cancelled? I can't believe you think that I would do that to you. Well, do you know what? Fine. But you know what? Take this as well. Give me a hand. Go on, go! Will you still marry us? Well, wait to ask me, eh? In the toilets, Mick, really? That still doesn't answer the question. I can't believe that you're asking me this after everything that's happened. Well? Oh, Irene, I'd love to see you again. Uh, do come in. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's all right. I wouldn't like to say anything here, do I? No, no. In fact, it's probably better that you don't say anything at all. Now, come in, oh, grab yourself you. a biscuit and a cup of tea before, and then sit down. What sort of biscuits you got? Oh, I don't know, all sorts. But uh, I remembered you like custard creams. Woo, cool. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh, hello. Do take a seat and help Is yourself to a biscuit and... Is it going to be the same policewoman as last time? I don't know, but I should think so, yes. Why? Just wondered, that's all. Oh. Look, Karen, I really love you, you and the kids. They're just like me all. I'm so sorry, Karen. I love you. I need you. And I just want us to get wed and start the rest of our life together. Okay. Okay. I will marry. Oh, she'll go ahead. I've just still got cleaning to do. Oh, sorry. She hasn't done anything all day, she can finish it off. Right, so last time PC Chapman very kindly gave us all her direct email address so that you could all get in touch with her and report directly to her any concerns or anything. Um, I hope you've all been vigilant in that. Well, yes, uh, everybody has been very vigilant and I've had plenty of emails. Oh, that's good then. Well, not quite, because everything that uh, was reported didn't really come under crime. Huh? Um, and there were more civil matters, kind of things that police can't really get involved in. I even got an email with someone's shopping list still on it. Sorry, that was me. I pressed the wrong button. And what about the one I reported? And the one the man was fishing through people's bin, obviously looking for people's data. I mean, fraud's a crime, is it not? I even took a picture of the culprit. Well, Sarah, yes, it is. It is a crime. Um, the problem was it was his own bin that he was going through. And what had happened, he'd had an argument with his wife, chucked the wedding ring in the bin, and then, of course, realising it's worth 
try to find it again. <laughs> <laughs> what about my purse? Well, that has actually been a difficult one because you weren't even able to say where it was stolen. You don't think you could have lost it, do you? No, I put it into my bag. Patrick saw me do it, didn't you, Patrick? <laughs> I forgot to mention last time my daughter and her husband had their garden gnomes stolen. They never did find out what happened to those gnomes. It's a pity really, they brought a bit of colour to that garden. So, we have the house all to ourselves? Yeah. Courtney's at work. I'm going to her Uncle Eric's all day. Oh, and it says Maureen's deaf. Who's Maureen? Well, she's kind of like our cleaner. Um, she's like someone who comes around and makes more mess for her mum to clean up. It's complicated. <laughs> um, shall we? I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. I haven't done this in ages. Don't worry, there's nothing to be nervous about. Trust me. Anyway, weren't you the one who said you were going to be me at Mario Kart? I have a feeling that might have been a lie since you're so nervous. Well, load it up and we'll see. Oh, we shall. So thank you everyone for coming and thank you for inviting me. So I'm really sorry I couldn't give the responses that you were all hoping to hear or wanting. Um, that does sometimes happen, I'm afraid, but we will do all our best to look into things. Um, was there anything else that anybody else wanted to say? Oh yes, I was going to ask about the gun that's been found. Uh, the local news didn't say much other than a, a gun had been found by a local dog walker. Oh uh, yes, yes, the gun. Um, that's been looked at by CID at the moment. At this stage we can't really say any more. Can't or won't? Can't. We really don't know any more at this stage and it would be wrong to speculate. You can understand, you can appreciate, I should think, that uh, why people are worried. Completely. But again, it would be wrong to give misleading information to the public. Oh, no way are you that good. Well, what can I say? <laughs> right, let's find a different game. Well, it looks like you did well in football. Nice medals. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. I blew my chance to take a pair though. This is well cute. <laughs> yeah, that's Rolfie. He, um... Honestly, the stories about him, like, every time we're trying to get rid of him, he just keeps coming back. One of those, is he? <laughs> oh, by the way, I saw these videos of you on Facebook, seeing on the theatre. You're good. You're really good. Are you trying to, like, take that further or anything? Or? Yeah, well, I've always wanted to go into musical theatre. But it's all about having that big break, someone being there to spot you. So, I don't really know. I mean, yeah. Same, exact same with football, to be honest. You've got to keep going and the right person sees you. But you've got the talent, so you shouldn't give up on it. Well, so have you. You could be the next David Beckham. <laughs> Beckham? That's from like the 90s. <laughs> yeah, well, he's the only one that I actually know. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. We're no further forward than we were this time last week. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. <laughs> It wasn't meant to be funny. Oh, by the way, I was talking to Kev over the weekend and he asked me to be remembered to you. Oh, that's good of him. Does he still work at Buttons? Yes, but I'm not sure how long for, though. I'm sure he'll be back again soon. Oh, we thought he'd make a wonderful red coat. Yeah, he's got the right mentality for it. Oh, good. I meant to catch you last time, but you'd gone before I had a chance. Oh, is there a problem? I know your name's not Sarah, and you don't have to pretend. But I wasn't. I know what happened was an accident, and Shaw did tell me what he did. He did? Yeah, he did, and believe you me, I told him. I'm just so sorry on his behalf, and all I can really say, and it's not an excuse, but he was going through a really bad time, you know, he'd, well, he'd just lost his job. Me and his dad were going through a divorce, and well, I think he just bottled everything up, you know. How is Sean now? Oh, he's very well, yeah. He, he's gone to university to study psychology, he's going well. Oh, which uni is he at? 
So he's at Portsmouth. Oh. Yeah, I know, I really miss him, but um, he's very good. So holidays, he does come back and see me. Anyway, you've got a grown-up son, haven't you? How is he? Oh, yes, he's doing very well. Yes, he, he moved out home the other day and he's got a job in a top London restaurant. Oh, well, that's really good, isn't it? Oh, I'm glad. I hope that does go well for him. Anyway, I just wanted to say that there's no hard feelings. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Basildon. Well, that's pretty much London, isn't it? Basildon's in Essex. The other day when we were by the seafront, you mentioned that what happened to you was a long story. Well, we have time now. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. So, first of all, there's this kid called Reese. I went to college with him. And, um, well, I, I saw him, what I thought was getting mugged. So we walked back together, we arranged to hang out and stuff, and uh, then we both started to receive these text messages, these threatening text messages. Um, Reese got jumped by the guy, turned up in my house with, with black eyes, and so I said he wouldn't spend the night. Turns out he was the one who was sending the text messages. He put makeup on his face to look like bruises, and he did it all because he just wanted to be friends with me. So that was a weird one, but then, then we've got Ross, one of my good old friends from the football club. So, not only did he get me absolutely drunk and spite me, the night before I had a big football game so that I'd missed my opportunity to, to go to, to Swindon, and he took it. He also then was trying to sabotage my relationship by spiking me again and then getting this girl called Kat to, to walk me home. And then she started blackmailing me while working with Ross to just keep having sex with her and cheating on my girl. So it's a long story, there's a lot to it, there's a lot to unpack there. But what about your story? You said that was complicated as well. So, you know about Dylan, my ex-boyfriend? I think so. Oh, you, yeah, you yeah. mentioned him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So his best friend, Troy, got murdered. So I came down and I came to like comfort him and look after him. Apart from he was hiding this massive stash of money from me. Oh, right. Uh, how much? Thousands. Yeah, quite big. Mm. Turns out Troy had left it for his little sister. And when I found out, we decided that we'd give it back to the sister. Also, I thought. He told me he went and dropped it off, but it turns out he lied to me. He then took off, started a new life with the stash of money, and I think he then had a new girl as well.